and iot is abbreviated as a narrow band iot out of several competing technology available for iot for example sigfox lora wan lte and etc but nbiot is designed to expand the future of iot connectivity in a more secure and reliable way because it provides certain advantage or features over other technology what is the meaning of narrow band in nb iot in radio communication what is radio communication a communication which takes place without wire or the communication takes place with the help of radio frequency so in radio communication a narrow band channel is a channel in which the bandwidth of the message does not significantly exceed the channel's coherence bandwidth what is coherence bandwidth that is narrow band implies that the channel under consideration is sufficiently narrow and up that its frequency response can be considered flat throughout that frequency band but what is the need of narrow band channel the application which requires long range low power and reliable communication narrow band is the best choice so this is the figure versus narrow band and broadband signals the graph is between the frequency and power transmission in the figure narrow band occupies less bandwidth as shown in the blue color peak it occupies less bandwidth compared to the broadband system which occupies more bandwidth and one more thing which you can notice that noise is more in broadband signal because broadband signal and noise have the more interactive area so what are those features or properties of nbiot which is really different with other existing technology first important a difference is and we iot is deployed into existing cellular network which is meant for third generation fourth generation and fourth generation low power consumption it consume very low power iot provides more indoor and outdoor ranges approximately 164 db low bandwidth requirement narrow channel only limited up to 180 kilohertz you know frequency spectrum is always an issue for the mobile or wireless communication low latency nbiot provides only less than 10 seconds latency as compared to other technologies and one more important feature of nbiot is support more than 1 lakh connections per cell you hardware component cost apart from all these unique features one important factor which make it different to others technology is lower hardware cost and hardware cost always make the difference choosing the technology and we iot is the leverage technology for iot what i mean i'm just talking about in terms of frequency band use in nb iot and we iot uses mobile carrier network for its communication rather than using local wifi or local network frequencies there are three different modes in which nbrt can be operated first one is in band operation in which in which one prb of l of lt carry is used for nbrt so that is one physical radio band is dedicated to nbrt only out of many band and the and the frequency is 180 kilohertz of that carrier guard band operation uses a resource block within lt carrier and that guard band is sometimes becomes best for us and thanks to this nbiot nbiot using that guard band for its transmission third one is stand alone operation uses gsm 200 kilohertz gsm is known as the global system for mobile communication it is a second generation mobile services these are three mode of operation in terms of frequency band which are using LTE and GSM spectrum in the most efficient way. It was all about NB IoT. I hope you got it.